What is the difference between a beam and a column? Simple. One carries the load vertically and the other one horizontally. Shikena, a column is an upright soldier. It takes the weight of the slab, your beams, your roof, and it pushes it down into the foundation. Columns are masters of compression. What is compression? When you push at something, it pushes back. You can't push through it. That is when something is highly compressive. Without them, your building are better start speaking in tongues. A beam is the bridge. It spans across columns, taking the weight of the slab or walls above it and redistributes the load on the columns. Wow, that's so crazy. Beams fight against bending. Can you see bending? While columns fight against crushing. Can you see? I can't crush it. That means a very strong column. Use like this. And a very strong beam. Think of it like this. The column is your leg. The beam is your shoulder. Okay. Your arm is a beam too. Most times, even it can deliver beams. Your legs carry your body weight to the ground. Your arms hold and transfer loads sideways and send them to your legs that sends it into the ground. Yes! Yes! Now, here is the thing about engineering and construction. Just like with a construction worker versus a gym bro, you can't judge a building's strength by only looking at the size of its columns and beams. Uh -uh, uh -uh. What matters is its design. The ratio of load to reinforcement. Concrete to strength, span length, soil conditions, all of it. A skinny column may carry more than a fat one, if the engineer knows their math. The bottom line is, beams and columns are part of the skeletons of your house, literally. Play with them and your structure will say bye-bye to you. <laughs> I've been Fola Jomi, see you on the next one.